Hey everyone in this video I will be showing you how to download latest driver and firmware for Lamza Thorn 4K compatible mouse. If you haven't watched my unboxing and sewn testing videos of the mouse I'll add the links in description, so check them out. First things first make sure you're browsing on Windows machine otherwise the website will be blank. Download the latest driver and other advanced tools to manage your Lamzu mouse. Once these are downloaded, we will install the driver and check the mouse settings. I'd recommend connect via included cable because we will be updating the mouse firmware. Installation will be quick and you will be greeted with welcome screen that shows the mouse and connection type wired or wireless along with option to pair the dongle if needed. The home screen shows different onboard memory profiles and allows option to set debounce time. By default, debounce time is zero as per latest driver updates. In the next screen, by default, there are five stages of DPI starting from 400 to 6400, report rate defaults to 1000 Hz with different sensor settings for wired or wireless. In wireless you will see two options HP for high performance and LP for low power. As you can see peak performance is nothing but device idle timeout. In wired mode there is no idle timeout and in wireless I've set to 10 minutes. You can change it accordingly. Motion sync is enabled by default. I will suggest to enable ripple control for better sensor accuracy. The next screen allows you to create custom macros and record keystrokes to launch an application or custom actions. Finally in the settings page you can perform firmware updates for your mouse and the receiver. Always make sure you update mouse firmware in wired mode to prevent any issues. I'll proceed with the update and this should be a quick process. Alternatively, you can apply the firmware through Lamzu's tools as well if you prefer separate utilities. You can find Lamzu mouse tool is installed under program files, x86, folder. I will now connect the mouse in wireless mode to update the receiver. It takes few seconds to update the receiver firmware and now it's at the latest version. Observed similar battery life for highly performant mouse as tech power up review for the mouse by Pogzel. As for the figures my battery was down to 96% from fully charged for 6 hours usage. Some of you might see small lag with LP mode if the receiver is not in line of sight. In that case, use the dongle extender kit and you should be good. The software allows you to pair a new dongle in case if you upgraded or switched to 4K dongle or you lost or replaced existing ones. Haven't messed with long distance mode so can't say anything about it. With this we have the reached the end of the video. Do check out my blog posts linked in about section. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section, and if you found this helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. You can support me via Patreon and Topmate. Thank you once again to all my subscribers and the community for your continued support.